Hi there, welcome to my channel, A Wonderful Sheep. Today I thought I'd open my first mail swap that I received and share one of the ways that I like to de-stress by collaging all the pieces from the Happy Mail. I hope this video inspires you to find ways to be creative and relax during stressful or scary times. Please stay healthy and safe and well and enjoy the mail opening. I wanted to open this swap mail from Traveling Mail. I'm really excited to open it. Her Instagram is so lovely. I love the way she decorates. So I'm gonna get started on opening this. Save this tape as well. Really beautiful tapes. Wow. So this is the note she included. I um, won the Mrs. Grossman's postcard giveaway, and so she added some extra goodies to do a swap. This is my first like official mail swap. <gasps> Look at this. Wow. It's like tied with raffita. I think these are pencils. Yes, I am saving every piece of washi tape and pretty paper that I can. Golden Gate Bridge pencil, color pencil, very cool. Oh my goodness. Easter stickers. Mrs. Grossman stickers. are cool. This is like really long Mrs. Grossman sticker. Wow. Very American style stickers. These are. These aren't actual stamps, but they're like stamps. Some vintage memos. And then this was the original giveaway, is these Mrs. Grossman stickers, which I don't have any of these, so that's good. Very cool. These are kind of fun. Vintage stickers. Number stickers. I think she might have stamped these herself. This is cool on labels, I think. Yep. Like scrapbook stickers. Lots of stickers here. Flower paper. Okay, so I see why everyone wraps their like happy mail in these little envelopes. There's the fun of like unwrapping things like a present. I think this was the original giveaway actually. The postcard and a few Mrs. Grossman stickers. Wow, and then all these Americana stickers. Is, is this Mrs. Grossman? Yep, that's cute. Ooh, pretty. Very cute. Oh, I like these. Angels in art. Ah, that's cool. And then some vintage papers and stickers and labels and wow, that's a very cute vintage bundle. Oh my goodness, that's precious. Wow. Oh, wait, there's one more. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Oh, yes, she asked if I like postcards, which I you know I do. Ooh, it's like vintage card. These must have been from like um, some sort of vintage shopper haul. That's cool to sell the stamp. These are neat. Oh, I like that this is the White House. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> My first. I'll have to think hard about how I can make an equally lovely swap in a Korean style. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So since I was young, I've always like unwrapped presents by like taking off the tape and making sure that I could save the wrapping paper. Um, and the same goes for opening Happy Mail. I've tried my best to preserve all the pieces of the packaging because it's so nicely um, put together and I saved all the bits of tape that were on the package too. And recently I've begun to sort of scrapbook the Happy Meal I've gotten. And now I want to put this one in as well um, and try to use up these little bits of tape that I've so carefully saved. And the reason, one of the reasons I like this type of six ring binder, I know a lot of people use junk journals that are already bound, but I like this ritual of opening up the binder and then taking out the spread that you're going to use. So it'll be this side like this. This will be one spread and then I'll have to make this a spread and this a spread. I'll use the pencil that Traveling Mail sent me. So this is the first spread that I have to do in between. But since this isn't actually meant, I'm not like posting this on Instagram or anything. I, this is just a de-stressing activity. I just like to, I don't think too much about how it looks aesthetically. I just go with my gut and see what comes out of the process. So I think I've got just the basic foundation covered. For now, I'm just gonna do the final rituals of trimming the ends that are peeking out. And, and then you take off the tape on the back and you get your ruler and your knife and you cut it apart. Oops, there's another piece of tape here. Um, and then you have to punch the holes, which is also one of my favorite parts of this kind of diary decoration. So you take the back side as a guide and punch some holes. Okay, and then final act in this whole process is opening up your binder to the last page, opening up the rings and sticking it in. 
And it always looks nice when it goes into the binder. And then I'll do this back side. the final for third this was the previous page and then from traveling mail everything that was on her package is just re-taped and repasted this was the front of the package and I just kept the vellum paper separate as like its own little page so I like the back of this receipt and I think this is incomplete but I've used basically all that I can from the package so except for like a couple strips of washi tape so I think I'll let it sit for a few days or and see what other inspiration comes to mind. My little de-stressing happy mail remembrance scrapbooking junk journaling sesh. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!